How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video. In today's video guys, we are going to be completing our uh, 1932 Ford Rat Rod here. So, there's a lot to do here and I've kind of decided on a couple more design choices. Let me lower it down. So, I've decided we're going to do the front we're gonna do the chop top and we're gonna do the front where it's all cut off and it's nothing but just the motor sticking out we're gonna have no quote quote hood um, to work with so uh, so let's see here let's see let's see so community so for our front option we're gonna go with the front clip and grill removed and then can I add that in no we gotta go Let's see. I got to find the right ones that do the whole front clip remove. There it is. So here's the front clip. Let's see this is what this looks like. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're going for. And then I think we have a chop top remaining from last time. Yes, we do. It is a different color, but that'll work. All right, so now we're going to start from the top here. We're just going to buy everything brand new. We got this. Um, we now need for hard top. Uh, and then we need allows for no bumper. We need this window. This window. We need the flathead V8 symbol. Front clip and grill removed. We have that. We bought that one. Uh, we're gonna do option three on the door with the actually no we already have we already have the windows we already have the windows I need to avoid that option three uh, we're gonna do short side uh, let's do this one actually I think we're gonna switch it to high flow headers yeah switch to high flows okay so there's a lot uh, no sides custom custom Blank allows for no hood. That's what we want. Uh, we don't need these. I think we need to go with a different option. Let's do six. Uh, let's do the flathead V8 taillights. Let's do this mirror. Ooh, uh, let's do that one. Oh, there's so much stuff to do here. Then we want wheelie bars. You know what? sure why not i think i just bought two rear bumpers it's fine uh we want the alloy drag wing sure why not um do we need a fender oh uh, i think i have the fender already if not we'll go pick up another one it's fine pick up option six side mirror and this there we go okay so we picked up a lot let's see what we got here let's see if i got everything So that one in, sure, it's miscolored, but that's fine. Oh, sweet. We actually uh, do have some headlights here. If it would let me... Oh, come on. There we go. Let's get the new headlights in. And then the new... We're going to do this tank. We're going to do the tank on the front. And then go back to the add. I did not realize that this was a body piece. Oh, dang it, it took all of that off. Okay. okay so put that back on. And then we can put the front bumper back on, which is just that little tank there. That on. Uh oh, wrong one. Let's see, there's no hood on this side, and then this other side gets no hood. Sweet. Let me remove this mirror, put the bullet shaped mirror in instead. All right. And then for the rear here, we got the flathead V8. Do the roll bar or the wheelie bar is what they say. Mmm. Carbon fiber or alloy drag wing? Alloy drag wing is what we're doing. Okay, 91%. Let's see here. What do we want to switch 
the plates to? Uh, let me see. Let me see what we got for Iowa plates. Uh, I'll just do this. Too fast. We'll just run with one on for now. All right, so then the last thing we have to do here, I have to go inside the car. Uh, let me move this. We gotta open up the door here. I'll show you where we gotta go. We gotta go inside and we gotta add the, uh, where is it at? There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Hmm. Let's see if that works. Yeah, looks like that'll work. And 100% body, awesome. So, there you go, that completes our rat rod appearance. And you know what, actually, while we have it here, out and ready to go, let's move it to the dino. Uh, or not dino, what am I saying, paint booth, paint booth, my bad. So we're gonna do a black color on it. So we'll paint that, and then we're gonna do the fire livery. There we go. All right. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, it does look pretty good. So next up is going to be for us to do the engine here. We got to pull the engine, which, as you can see here from where it's sitting, it's going to be super, super easy. The drivetrain's already disconnected. Um, a lot of stuff's ready to go. So I'm just going to probably time lapse this entire engine, uh, tear down and rebuild, um, just because I'm. Uh, I just want to get it done quickly, uh, so I can do it pretty quick just uh, just doing it. Um, so I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to get the engine pulled out. I think the drivetrain's already disconnected, so it should be pretty quick and easy. So I'm going to get that torn apart, and I'll see you guys back here with a fully functioning uh, V8 engine. It's not a flathead, obviously, but it will be a, it will be a full functioning V8 engine uh, for us to slap in it. So I will see you guys when that is ready.
and there we go guys there is the v8 overhead valve uh supercharged motor right there let me just bam slap it in there we go that looks uh oh the hood's open i see let me just close that that's pretty funny all right there we go so there is the supercharged motor there um i think i need to put in one or two more things let me move that equipment here i'm gonna go grab the battery uh that motor is pretty uh pretty powerful i'd say for what it is for like how old it is um i'm expecting some good numbers out of it honestly servo dang brake boosters always be breaking on me all right how are we looking now 98 percent. what am i missing the gearbox starter and drive shaft and steering wheel okay makes sense um i'm gonna get a performance gearbox for this one just because i know the stock one cannot handle this okay back up to here i think i still have the stock drive shaft which I can reuse and save myself a little bit of moolah. Let's see, yep. Awesome. Then starter, hit it up. All right, is that it? That is it. Awesome. Uh, I can actually just take this from the top here and move it to the entrance. Okay. So it's got seats in there. Okay, we need a steering wheel. Definitely need something. Interior. Wheel. Let's do that one. I like the I like the wood grain on the outside. Oh no, we need to go to interior. Assemble. There we go. I guess that chain one would be more rat rodish, but alright. There we go, guys. There is our V8 overhead valve supercharged rat rod done and ready to compete so first thing off is uh we're gonna add some oil to the engine yep 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 uh but then we're gonna go over to the dyno and we're gonna see what the puts no for numbers down on the dyno and then we're gonna take this bad boy to the strip and see what it does on the drag strip all righty so here we go let's put down some dyno numbers um i'm guessing probably 800 guys is what i'm shooting for here yes okay we got 818 it's an 81 percent gain uh a thousand foot pounds of torque or 1100 foot pounds of torque actually that is um that's pretty nuts honestly that's a lot and this thing did i put slicks on there i did put slicks on there yes okay 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 yeah, yeah. we got this let's see here speed track all right so we got the slicks on there we got the performance gear box. We got the performance motor itself. Um, so I'm expecting us to put down some pretty quick numbers. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't tune the gearbox yet, but I'm pretty sure it should be a pretty moderate base tune. We should be hitting at least 200 miles an hour. I know that for sure. Once it loads, of course. All right, there she is. All right, this is right-hand drive. Okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What can you do? What can you do? It's already at 120. That's pretty quick within... Oh, yeah. This thing drives so good. Okay. It caps out at 160. Okay. We're going to have to do something with the gearbox. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's turning garage. We got to add two more uh, gears to the gearbox, pretty much. Two more uh, two more shift spots because that was not quick. That was uh, hit 160 about three-fourths of the way through and it was topping out. So we'll, uh, we'll add something in here. All right, there we go, guys. I changed it around a little bit. Um, I changed the final gear ratio to 2.85. I added the fifth and sixth gear to 202 and to 252. So... I think that should help it out quite a bit. Um, hopefully, I think it'll be pushing 200 miles an hour pretty quickly. Um, hopefully. And I want to hit that 252 if possible. Um, it's going to be a hard number to hit, obviously. But I think we can I think we can hit within the 
uh, time allotted on the track. This thing does have 800 and some horsepower, so. Okay. All right, Rat Rat, let's see what you can do. Yeah, it takes off super quick. Oh yeah, we're already over 100. Oh, it's so much faster. Whoa, we're already hitting fifth gear. Whoa! I do not know what that was. Dang, we were on track to hit 100 so fast. Or 200 so fast. For some reason, out of nowhere, it just randomly hit like a wall. All right, let's restart that one. Let's see if we can retry that one. It hit like uh, 170 and then the right tire just veered off. All right, we'll stay to the left side of the track here, see if that helps out. Oh, there's like little bumps in the track. Oh, 195, 200. Oh, no! Oh, we flipped it. You know, that's all right, though. We hit 200 miles an hour in 21 seconds. Zero to 104. Zero to 30 in 1.1. Zero to 60 in 2.5. That's pretty quick. That is pretty quick. Um, I like that. That's that's not, that's not too bad. Pretty quick. Uh, I don't really know what keeps happening with it hitting weird spots i think that's the way the the body of like the car is made it's just something with the mod it's acting weird on that drag strip there but there we go guys hopefully you guys enjoyed uh that rat rod build i really did it's really really cool to do stuff like that um these mods are, can be really really interesting sometimes but there we go hopefully you enjoyed uh, if you did leave a like and leave a comment down below and if you guys aren't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and hopefully i will see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video